What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're doing things a little bit different. We are going out to Shaw's Machine Shop again to build two trailer ramps. Two trailer ramps for my uh, my busted ass car trailer. We lost one and so we need to make another one and then I decided let's just make two new ones. Big thanks to my stepdad Bill and to my mom for letting me come out and bombard your shop as well as giving me some pointers, tips, tricks, all those types of things. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, one thing that I think is kind of worth mentioning is we have Mel's car leaving, but we have another one in the shop. So it's like they just started um, populating themselves. We are trying to uh, make things happen around here. So helping out a friend with this little Bronco, we'll be throwing some videos up of this soon. I, I haven't even started on it. So when I do, you guys will see it. And if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. But as for now, enjoy the video. So today we're trying something a little different, doing some voiceover stuff. I went ahead and grabbed the ramp as soon as I got there. Uh, and you can kind of see there are those two pieces that's telescoping like I was saying. Uh, but what's most important is we're getting the overall length measured out and seeing from end to end what it was like collapsed. Because that collapsed length is going to be like the cavity that's inside the trailer. So the length we came up with was 45 and a half, I believe. Not that it really matters, but at 45 and a half, these four pieces that I'm cutting are two by two, 120 wall uh, square tubing. And the square tubing is gonna form like the outer portions of each ramp. And basically as I'm cutting and doing all these things here, I'm just trying to take care of myself, not get hurt and also kind of focus on what I'm doing. So that's another reason why I'm doing the voiceover. <laughs> it is a loud machine shop and I just wanted to do my best to be safe and stay out of the way. Back on the table, we have the two outer pieces, and then in the middle are the, I think it was like eight and a half inch middle pieces. Those middle pieces are two by two square tubing as well, but they're 14 gauge. Now first, I cut four for each. You can see Bill and I were talking, he made a really good point that if we had them two spaced out, that it might cause uh, the tires to get stuck in between or something silly like that. So. He's spacing them at three inches, which is really ideal, and I think it came out really well. And then we're also going to use like this big rectangular tubing with a three inch height that he shows me right here, and just use that to space them out so I can tack all these things nice and easy. So that's what used up that first eight uh, middle piece, and then I went back and cut another set of eight middle pieces for the second ramp. Mm -hmm. all done and welded up still need to do the angle at the end for the hook uh, we just got this one all fit together now I'll get this one finished welded
you're just using a nice little soap pen marker pencil whatever you want to call it soap stone is probably the proper term and making some very very precise markings on the edge of the ramps these are going to be the ends that actually end up hitting the ground and i just kind of putting like a nice 45 on them by using the plasma really easy probably could have done it a million different ways but this just is so simple <laughs> that'll do that's what we've been looking for pretty proud of that hell yeah it was a little more steep obviously <laughs> I just like fall through <laughs> a little more steep than it was but that's okay I'd even dust these things black just to be fancy <laughs> So I was basically just wanting to see here if I got the lengths correct as far as them fitting into the pockets in it. They do fit. Uh, also, you can see here I'm pointing that this is a bungee cord, little strap thing. I lost the lock when I lost the ramp. So I'll, I'll fix that. That's probably not going to hold it real safely, but there you go. They're in. So there it is. Trailer is fully serviceable. We got the ramps back in. The tires were, uh, one tire was flat actually, I didn't show it, but uh, we got it all back together. I'm really happy with it. I like that it has a winch. It is kind of my crappy cheap trailer, but it does work, gets the job done. The next job that we have to do with it is towing home Mel's Camaro. It's pretty much, pretty much ready to go. A couple other things to do to it. Should be going over to his house today or tomorrow. I do want to say thanks to Bill and my mom for always welcoming me into their shop and letting me kind of mess around. Bill's always super patient no matter what he's got going on. Stops what he's doing and helps show me what to do or we bounce ideas off each other until we get something figured out. So thank you guys for that. One other really exciting thing about having the trailer back together that I needed to get done for is Marcella's car is not yet registered so we want to trailer it back to her house. That thing's going back and I think she is super pumped about it as I am. She's been working on my arm. We've been trading tattoo work for car work. I don't know if you guys caught that. If not, there is a playlist for her car just doing some kind of fun things getting it running. Just like that Bronco that I'm sure you saw in the beginning of this episode. So we'll just keep rolling with stuff like that as well as my own projects, things to go do. and kind of some new cool stuff coming up on Saturday that I'll be mentioning the Saturday upload in the morning. So until then though, hopefully you guys have a good week and uh, I will see you then. I'm out. Peace.